Is a 2006 um, Pontiac G6, and it has a problem. So we're about to hook it up to the scanner and see what it says. We must go to the transmission. Sensor circuit low voltage. Lewis, this took eight volts with nuts on top. Eight of them. Yeah. And that is because yeah, I disconnected it, so I know why that mass airflow yeah. sensor voltage is there. But what we're paying attention to is the P0758 two three shift solid noise circuit. Um, 2761 torque converter clutch toward uh, pressure control solenoid control circuit. Uh, P0753 one two shift solenoid control circuit mass test. Then has a U0121. Lost communication with anti-lock brake system, ABS control module. Now, what we want to pay attention to are these three here. The P758, the 2761, and the P0753. Not yet. Three codes found. And they're going to do the shift solenoid codes. P0753, P758, and P2761. Open with a clutch pressure control, solenoid control circuit open. Okay. Let's get I'm going to the freeze frame. I want to see when did this code set. speed sensor say zero so it wasn't moving the rpms was 689 so it was like it was at an angle okay so now we're going to find out how to get this tested huh. 
Okay, what do we have here? And this Pontiac G6 here. Here's the one, two, and the two, three shift solenoid, and this is what's supposed to happen in park. One, two is on, two, three is off. In reverse, one, two is on, two, three is off. In neutral, one, two is on, two, three is off. Now in drive, I put it in the drive gear where it will shift four times. The first gear, the solenoid is on, one, two, and two, three is off. When it goes to second gear, one, two turns off, two, three stays off. And in third gear, one, two stays off, two, three turns back on. And in fourth gear, uh, one two turns on and two three stays on and these are the different combinations that allow for the different shifts okay now the shift solenoids when ohms testing them should be 19 to 24 ohms and the torque converter solenoid should be 10 10 ohms around 10 ohms 10 4 to 10 9 ohms this vehicle has three codes. It says both shift, shift solenoids have a problem and also the torque converter solenoid has a problem. The thing is, it's highly unlikely that both, all three solenoids are going to be bad at the same time. So what is probably happening is something is affecting everything. And that's what we have to find out. And the way we do that is by looking at the wire diagram to see uh, what could affect all three at the same time now looking at the wire diagram on this 2005 Pontiac G6 this is a Mitchell wire diagram we have to find the circuit for the solenoids and if we look here I have them marked and you will see The 1 2 shift solenoid, the 2 3 shift solenoid, and the TCC PWM solenoid. The circuits in question, in question, which are 33, 46, and 39. You see the color like green, yellow, and black, and brown. And these wiring solenoids go down to the transmission connector. And then you see the TCC shift solenoid in two, three, and one, two. Okay, so they go to the connector. But now on the other side of the connector, where the transmit the solenoids are inside the transmission, you see right here where they are connected to the same circuit right here. And this is a voltage circuit that goes all the way up to a transmission fuse for it's a 10 amp fuse and this is hot and run or in start okay so this fuse here is suspect or this circuit here because this here can cause a problem if it goes bad with all three of these Okay, if this breaks, it cuts off voltage to, every, to all three of these. If this one wire here, the light green breaks, it will only cause problems with this one, but it won't cause problems with the other two. So this circuit here feeds into every one of the solenoids. So I'm going to look at this circuit here. Now what could happen if these three wires are grounded or, or broken then all of these can be affected then because every single wire three wires can affect it now it could be on the inside of the transmission the harness inside could be grounded to where it's affecting it. the vehicles on the inside or it can be grounded on here 
this bar here, this line going across, represents it, the inside of the transmission now. So, how are we going to start our approach to this problem? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is check this fuse. I'm going to see if this fuse is blown. Then, I'm going to see if voltage is coming down this line yes, good boy. and that going to good. the transmission connector right here at this point. So first, I'm going to check the feed. First, I'm going to check the feed. And then I'm going to see if voltage is coming down to this one. Now we are at the fuse box, which is right beside the battery, under the hood on the driver's side. So we're going to open up this box, and on the underside of the cover, we will show you where the fuses are located and in this case we're looking for fuse number four which is the transmission fuse which is the one that powers the solenoids uh, and you see number four right here so now we just have to find it inside of the box we know that it is a 10 amp fuse and I'll point to it so that you can see it here is the 10 amp fuse right there.